What's good, Super Joel EJ Ron back with another interesting video. I normally say amazing, but this video is not amazing. If you can't tell by the title, if you can't tell by the thumbnail, if you can't tell by my face, this video is far from amazing. It's actually pretty interesting to me, though, that somebody would disappear for a year, come back, and make such like a belligerent lie. Like, this was some of the stupidest shit you could have did if you was a YouTuber with a million plus subs. But before I even dive deep into that part of the story, y'all need to understand who this person is. We are here with a YouTuber named Caroline Constar. And today, we're going to go over the fact that she lied, not just about being pregnant, but about losing the pregnancy via miscarriage. I don't know if it's just me, being a YouTuber that takes pride in the content I make and take pride into the person that I'm able to show y'all that I am. This YouTuber disappeared for a year and decided to come back and say, I have an announcement. In the first five seconds of the video, I'm going to pause it right, I'm going to pause on this frame right here. She decided to show that she was pregnant and proceeded to try and show the progression along the pregnancy from week 10 to week 16, to week 19, and to week 25. And the saddest part about this video is, is the fact that you purchased the camera and you threw four different photo shoots, changing your fake baby bump from photo shoot to photo shoot to try and convince the world that you were actually pregnant. And the sad part about it is that you did. That is probably the worst part of all of this, is that a lot of people believed you, and if you watch this video in which we're gonna watch clips of it together, little highlights, because I'm not gonna give her the watch time, you lied. Your morals are effed. You do not get the full watch time from us. We gonna, we gonna hit them YouTube analytics. Watch my whole video so you don't hit my YouTube analytics. She was legitimately trying to connect to people that were pregnant, or trying to explain the hassles of being a pregnant 20 year old. <laughs> I'm good, guys. I'm actually so good. I want to have a kid. I just don't think I can have a fucking kid right now. And I really want a kid. I do want a fucking kid. And I'm not being stupid. I'm not being like, oh, well, you're young. You don't really know what it's like. You have so much life to live. Fuck you! I'm having a baby. Like, I'm having the baby. It's not like I'm not, it's not like I'm getting rid of it. It's like, I'm having the baby. I'm gonna have a baby. Now, I want y'all to ask yourselves, and you let me know in the comment section, was anything about what I just sold y'all come off as fake? No, what she showed was a 20-year-old Finding out she's pregnant and having a mental breakdown about it, about it, something most 20 year old first time moms would probably do. And that was the problem with her faking this. We're not even at the first two words of my title or the first two words of what she did. I'm talking about the miscarriage part. We're at the point where like, you sat here and put in all this effort to convince people you were pregnant. These are people that actually care about you. These are followers of yours. They subscribe to you, over a million people subscribed to you specifically because they relate to you, they connect to you, and they find you entertaining. You disappeared for a year, you decided to come back, and the bombshell you tell everybody is that you're pregnant. Now, if there is any reason for someone to disappear for a year from their job or from, um, from YouTube, there's only a couple reasons that are actually valid and legit. Mental health, a death, or a pregnancy, and you decide to lie about it, all three of those things is nothing to play about, by the way. Pretty awful. It's very overwhelming to be 20 and pregnant, because I'm around other 20 year olds that are like, I don't even know what I'm like doing right now. Like, I don't even know who I am or what I want in life. And I'm just like, that sounds tough. Me personally, I'm about to throw out 18 years of my life doing the most selfish thing one could possibly do. I had friends and family reach out to me and I've just sort of casually told them that I'm having a child. I haven't really done a whole announcement, but the reaction that I get from people is so interesting because they're like, oh, that's so nice for you. I'm really glad that you're deciding to do that with your life. And I'm like, God damn, can't we make motherhood cool again? And I'm not going to consider, again, I'm not giving her the watch time that she wants because she doesn't deserve it. But um, does anything about either of those clips seem like playing to you because it doesn't to me there was no humor in any of the things you said and i think it's actually pretty sick that the 20 year old mothers or people that was young moms that watched you you decided to do that to them you decided to act like you understood the struggle of a young mom for straight video and entertainment purposes that's an issue i lost the baby <laughs> Okay, guys, I lost the baby, and I don't know exactly where I put it. It it has to be around here somewhere. Okay, so some of you guys are coming. You trying to turn miscarriage into a skit is one of the most, that gotta be the wildest thing I've seen in 2024. And I've made some videos about some wild shit in 2024. That is some of the craziest stuff I've ever seen. It just gotta be. She tried to turn miscarriage into an RDC skit. I'm wondering. Yeah. 
No, I am not pregnant. And I'm sure some of you are shocked. I'm sure some of you are not surprised at all. I'm sure some of you don't care. But some of you might be asking, when you're a content creator, the line between entertainment and reality is very blurred. Your audience will but here's the thing, that wasn't entertaining. People were actually concerned about where you was for over a year. People was actually like connecting and relating to the things you were saying about being a young mom and feeling the same ways. You're not gonna try and find some type of stupid excuse for what you did. I'm not gonna allow you to, because I'm a content creator. Do I have a million subs? No, but if I did have a million subs, I wouldn't come on this bitch pretending like I got a baby that I don't will become very attached to an abstraction of yourself. And the odd thing is that this connection can become very personally meaningful to the viewers whilst not being personally meaningful to the creator itself. Your attention is monetarily valuable to me. And I'm not gonna pause too much because we're only 50 seconds into this video, but she basically just said, fuck y'all. That's what she basically just said to the million plus people that sub to her. She basically just said, I don't give a fuck about you. Y'all are a dialogue. Y'all might relate and be connected to me. Yeah, y'all can be connected to me in my personality, but me to you, you ain't nothing but a dollar sign. That is the vibes I just got from that crazy ass statement. That is some of the most ungrateful shit I, can, I, I have ever heard in my life. And unless you have some narcissistic tendencies, which a lot of us do, the experience of having a parasocial relationship with your audience can be very uncomfortable. I'll give you an example. When I was 15 and I first started making content, I had a lot of people threaten to me every day. And if you could imagine, this was not fun. And the problem- I'm not gonna lie to you. That's a, you're, you're starting to give me the vibe that you don't know what parasocial means. It's one thing to feel like you're connected to somebody you watch because I think to a scale, I guess that is parasocial, but that's on a very, very low end scale. An actual parasocial relationship is somebody acting like they legitimately know you on a personal level through your videos, through your content. And that's not what this is. And that was just a horrid example, to be honest with you. You getting terrible death threats is not the same as a parasocial relationship. That's somebody just not liking you and deciding to be a dickhead about it. With this, beyond the obvious, is that there's no meaningful way to respond to this interaction. The offender has anonymity, and in some way, so do I. So I'm not treating them like a real person. They're not treating me like a real person. You're not real, and I'm not real, and none of this is real. And yet, the effect that we have on each other is still very real. I come on the- I come- no, what you just said was the effect that you have on us is very real. The only effect we have on you is your dollar signs and your pockets. You literally just said that. You know, this is some of the poorest excuses to lie about a miscarriage or to lie about being pregnant that I think I've ever seen in my YouTube commentary career. This was just stupid. You didn't have to do it. You're doing all this yapping and rattling on about shit. And to be honest with you, you're not getting anywhere. I'm not hearing anything to justify what you did. Um, nope. I am, hold on. I will present myself on the internet because I want to desperately be seen and to connect to other people. And a lot of you come on the internet, a, no, a lot of you will engage on the internet because you want to be seen and because you desperately want to connect to someone. I lied about being pregnant as a joke. And the joke is not that pregnancy under strenuous circumstances is funny. The joke is not that the audience was gullible enough to believe that I was pregnant. The joke is you connected to something that wasn't real. And I what the fuck is, what am I listening to? If it's something I don't like, it's a bullshitter. And that's what this is. This is just straight BS, okay? You need to accept the fact that what you did was horrible and just leave it at that. That's what you need to do. Nobody's connected to you or your baby. No one's connected to the fact that you're pregnant. They're connected to the fact that they can share experiences with you. I don't watch YouTubers and get, like I watch Kostanet. I don't actually watch Kostanet. I watch Kostanet because I'm connected to what he's doing. I'm connected to the entertainment. I'm not connected to him. He's not my friend. He's not my brother. When I watch wrestling, when I watch John Cena wrestle, I'm not connected to John Cena the person. I'm connected to his on-screen character. Let's actually have sense now. I, you know, it makes me wonder, and this isn't to call out our subscribers, cause like, I'm sure I'm gonna fuck up one day and I wouldn't want anyone to call out mine, but um, who are y'all subscribed to? This is really making me question, what can somebody that think like this be capable of 
in a creative setting or in a YouTube type setting? That's my question here. I have become something that isn't real. We all come here to find this connection over and over again. And we don't really find it until now when you subscribe to my Patreon. God damn it, no she didn't. No she didn't, no she didn't. Oh no man, no. Did she really do it? Did she just plug her Patreon? Did she just plug her Patreon? She lied about the baby. She lied about the miscarriage. She just gave me a minute and a half of straight bullshit on what a parasocial relationship is to plug us to a Patreon. I blame her subscribers for this. The fact that y'all would make somebody like this big, it's your fault. I blame you. It's y'all fault, bro. The fact that I'm sitting here in this hot ass attic, y'all see the sweat on my face. Y'all see the sweat. Oh my face. I'm sitting here in this attic watching this because of her subscribers. The fact that y'all gave somebody that's capable of being like this fame is crazy. $300 a month? Oh no, I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm done with this video. Hell no. Now listen, I appreciate y'all if you made it to the end, but I'm gonna say this too before I end my video. If I ever make a Patreon and I charge anything above $10 a month, so unsubscribe to me unsubscribe to me and if anybody is legitimately playing paying over three hundred dollars to watch that get them help you need to get a psych ward you need to get you need to see a psychologist you need a therapist you need something and that's it with this video i love y'all more than i love myself i need y'all to hit that subscribe button for me so i can make a patreon one day or i can say ridiculous stuff and get hundreds of thousands of views comment down below your take on this and i'm out peace